Hi everyone, Mary here from Leo Sunlight Insight, here to do your Oracle Insight for Tuesday the 2nd of January 2019. Happy New Year. I'm going to be using the Romance Angels here by Doreen Virtue and the Legacy of the Divine by Cheryl Marchetti. I'm going to pull one Romance Angel for the Oracle Insight message of the day and we'll clarify it with the tarot. Thank you for coming for, to my channel. If you like how I read, please check out all my other videos. I have horoscope readings by Element. I also have a New Year's reading. I also have other readings planned coming up. So please like, share, subscribe, comment if you like how I read. Hit the bell for notifications. So when I post a new video, you will get a notification of when I post a new video. Thank you to my new subscribers who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this message. These are life message videos. These are oracle insights. I do these three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do work full time, so hopefully one day I'll be able to do more videos. Okay, so let's pull, let's get one, that's two, I just want one spirit for the collective while watching my channel right now, who need a life message today, who need insight today, who need inspiration today, what does the collective most need to know, apparently it may be about romance today since I was led to use the romance deck. It may or may not, depending on what message comes out. So let's see what Spirit wants to pull. Well, the collective, watching my channel right now, Spirit. What is the one message? What is the one insight most needed for today, please? Can I have one card? Okay, I feel like this one. Okay. So we have, let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. So this might not even have to do about romance. This just could be about people needing help in their lives. Maybe you're going through a situation right now and you need help from your friends, but you're afraid to ask. Maybe you need guidance. Maybe you need advice. Maybe you're too embarrassed to ask for help. Maybe you feel ashamed of whatever you're going through right now. Maybe it has to do with something to do with your um, romantic situation, whatever that may be for you. So let's see what the tarot has to say. We'll get some clarification. I see a woman here. I see like four women. And then there's a child, or it could be an angel there, but it looks like a child to me. So maybe somebody's having a problem with one of their children, one of their kids, and they need help, they need advice, or something. Okay, so we'll see what the tarot says. We'll get more into this, clarify the situation, what's going on. This is the Tower of Dream. Um, no, this is the Legacy of the Divine. I have so many decks. <laughs> this is by Cheryl Marchetti, Legacy of the Divine. So, let's see, I want to make sure my cards are the right way. Okay. So, Spirit, can we clarify? Let your friends help you. What does that mean? What's going on for some people? What do they need help with? What do they need help with with their friends? Deciding if I want it. I think I'll take it. Okay, so we got the five of coins. And this is about monetary, material things. It's about being left out in the cold. This can mean poverty. This could, maybe some of you feel a little abandoned right now, left out in the cold going through a hard time maybe, and that's why, see, she's almost like she's asking for help. 
She needs help. She's asking for something. She's hungry. She might be a little desperate. So maybe some of you are going through a really hard time right now with your finances. Maybe you need help in some way, but you're afraid to ask for a little bit of help, a loan, maybe a small loan. Or borrow a little bit of money, or but you're afraid to ask. Maybe you've never had to do that before. I'm feeling this one right here. I think I'm going to take that one too. So we have the Nine of Cups, and this is about, um, Cups are about love and emotions, and the Nine of Cups is about, maybe you're single, nines are usually, usually a solitary number, so maybe you're single right now, but for some reason you're going through a hard time. But the Nine of Cups usually is about a wish fulfilled, wish fulfillment, happiness. So something you were wishing for or hoping for, it looks like it hasn't happened yet. And until it comes through, whatever it is for you, you're having a hard time right now. Whether it is maybe you're waiting to hear about a new job and it hasn't come through yet. And that's why you're having a little bit of a hard time with your finances and you're wishing and you're hoping for this to come through. But in the meantime, I think you really need to ask for help. See the four of coins. Now you have the four of coins. You got the four to the five. And this is you like holding on to every little bit you have, every little penny you have, trying to make ends meet. Trying to stretch it out, trying to just get by, scraping. But... I see that it's going to run out soon and you're going to have to ask for help until this wish comes through that you're hoping for. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the sun. So we have two pentacles here. So I don't know if any of you are an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And now we have the sun here. This is Leo. And this is success. This is fulfillment. This is happiness. This is like basking in the warmth of the sun. Everything is positive about the sun. This is a positive card. It's about growth, expansion, happiness, success, glory. So I feel like this belongs over here. Once you get your wish, you will have, you will be able to bask in the sun. But right now you have the nine of swords. So that speaks about um, stress, anxiety, being worried, being up at light, late at night, not being able to sleep, constantly having things on your mind, stressing out all the time, definitely stressing about the situation you're going through right now. Thinking, should I ask my friends for help? I'm afraid to. I don't want to. They might not want to help me. Um, you know, some people are like that. They don't like to help people for some reason. I don't know why. Especially when it comes to finances and money and things like that. And then you have the three of wands. And this is like you waiting for your ship to come in. This is about going out on your journey, but you're, you're just waiting. You're not taking any action yet because you're still waiting for your ship to come in. Once that ship comes in, you're going to get on board and move on. But you can't move on yet because the ship hasn't, land, hasn't docked yet. It still may even be a thought in your mind because you see it's kind of floating in the air. You know, it's still like a dream, almost looks like a dream state, but it's coming, it's there, it will come, it will be there for you. So when your ship comes in, you, you will have the sun, you will have victory, you will have success, your wish will be fulfilled. 
but the stress and anxiety right now, you're trying to hold on to every little, little last bit that you have, trying to stretch it out, make it last. But it's going to get to the point where you're going to have to extend an arm out and just ask for help from somebody until the ship comes in. So let's see if any other messages want to come through. Let your friends help you. And a lot of people have a lot of ego and pride about asking friends for help. You know, they act like they don't need help. You know, they act like everything is fine. They're in control. They have everything they need. But deep down inside, they really, they really don't. They really need the help. Maybe there's a Leo sign here that could help you. Someone that you know very well with the sun or another fire sign. These are both fire. The sun is Leo. Leo is a fire sign. The wands of fire. You could even be a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn. Okay, let's see. Are there any other messages that want to come through for this insight of the day, this message, this life message, any other messages please, that's too many, I only take three at the most, so if we could get three more, we can kind of even out the energy here in the spread, kind of wrap it up, and then we'll go and look at the bottom of this this tarot deck and then look at the bottom of the oracle deck for extra guidance no other cards want to come out then I'll just go over the bottom of the deck be short and simple today so spare I'll ask one more time are there any other messages that need to come out for this insight please for let your friends help you do we need any other messages? Please, Spirit. I feel on that one. Wow, King of Coins. Now we have someone who is very structured. He's stable. He's secure. He's grounded. He's smart. He's intelligent. That's the same thing. But uh, he's has money. He's well off. He's in control. He probably um, could even own his own business. He's stable. Stability here. This could even be your energy once this, this uh, thing you're hoping for, this offer comes through, this career opportunity or whatever it may be. Maybe you'll be making more money and you won't have to scrimp and save every last penny you have. You'll be the king of cups, king, king of cups, yeah, king of coins energy. Very well grounded. You won't have to worry about your finances. You know, a hard worker, secure, abundant, well off. And these are all pentacles right in a row. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's like. You're in this state now, but you will be in this state once this comes through and your ship comes in. But you're still stressing about it and you're afraid to ask for help. But if you do and when this comes in, you're going to pay it back. I mean, it's not like, you know, you're just going to take the money and run. You know, you will pay them back. This is a very trustable person. It's very honest, dependable. Follows the rules, very structured. Maybe for some reason you recently lost a job, maybe you got laid off, is what I'm getting to. Oh my god. <laughs> 
We have a match. We have the king of queen of coins. Wow. Wow. Holy mackerel. Wow. That's like double confirmation. Wow. Wow. This is like the female version of the king. So some of you may be male, some of you may be female. Watching this video, going through the same thing. Heck, maybe even at this new job, you may, might meet your soulmate. Because this is a match. If you're single, this is the romance deck. Wow. A fellow Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn. And I feel like if you're the female watching this, you may start this new career, meet somebody, and you're going to know right off the bat with your third eye open here and your intuition that this is your soulmate. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So I guess the romance angels wanted to throw a little romance in there. I didn't think there was going to be anything about romance, but apparently... Okay. There are one more card. Oh, there's two there. So I'm just going to take this one. Seven of Cups. So this talks about confusion options, weighing out all your options, choices. You see here, there's a lot of things here, material things. There's gems and jewelry. There's a mansion, a castle in the background. I just feel like once this comes through, once you meet this person, you're going to have all these new opportunities available to you that you never had before, all these choices. If you are confused now, I feel like you won't in the future. Right now you may feel confused. But it's like you're going to go from this energy to this energy. And have this as the result. You still you have to wait for the ship to come in, that offer to come in. You know, you have to get out of your own mind and stress anxiety. You're going to have so many available options to you once you have the success. But for now, right now, I'm saying, thinking what I'm getting, if you need to ask for help, then you need to just ask for it. It's going to be temporary. And just have faith and know that you will be able to repay any debts any help return the favor if anybody is ever in need pay it forward I just got that message pay it forward wow I might even title this paying it forward okay let's look at the bottom of the wow okay we have strength this is Leo again we have two cards of Leo the Sun and strength only card we don't, other card we didn't get here for Leo is a wand card, like the king, queen, a wands would be, could be Leo too. So definitely you may have a Leo around you that could help you, male or female, who's very strong, abundant, passionate, understanding, loving very powerful maybe they intimidate you a little bit and you're afraid to ask for help is what I'm getting to but I don't think you need to be afraid to ask for help because oh wow look at under the strength was the six of wands that's the victory card that's riding home in victory after the battle has been won this battle you're going through right now even though you may have to ask your friends for some temporary help, you're going to have success and victory. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have worth waiting for. So you may be waiting for a while about this new offer coming through, wishing and hoping for it, waiting for that ship to come in, stressing out about it. But it's worth waiting for. 
divine timing is at work in your love life. So doesn't necessarily have to be love life, can be just about this situation you're going through right now. I'm getting this for some people with your career and finances, waiting for that to come in. But also maybe you're single right now, wondering when, I'm, when am I going to meet the right one. And it's almost like when you start this new career, bam, worth waiting for. You're going to meet your soulmate. Wow. This almost feels like a personal reading for someone. Wow. Okay, that was the Oracle Insight for Tuesday, the 2nd of January, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please hit the like, please subscribe, share, comment, hit the bell for notifications. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Stay safe. And we'll see you Friday with the next uh, insight. The next Oracle Insight on Friday. And as I always say, don't forget to shine your light.